Hello and welcome back to my Japan Let's Play episode 4 of Mars Horizon. Last time we completed the milestone of satellite imaging and this episode we're going to focus on completing the next milestone which is human in space. So let's begin. Right, so to complete the next mission for human in space we need to complete the Mercury payload um, which has got, which is, should hopefully be done next to, uh, next month because we've got a lot of quite a lot of boost. We've got 1.6k boost in our sites next month, which could complete the Mercury payload. I think at the minute we've got no objective at all, so we've got two mission slots available. So we'll keep one available for human in space and potentially look at one of the quest missions. Right, so we've got orbital radio, orbital chimpanzee. We've already done the isonosphere measurement and we've done a high altitude photography, so one of these two should be pretty good. We've got low risk or medium risk. So equip a basic orbital satellite with a radio transmitter, the emissions of which can be tracked around the globe, or a chimpanzee has been trained to pull levers for rewards, launch it into orbit and assess the ease of forming task in microgravity. Um, this one seems pretty good because it's quite lucrative. We get additional funding or we get a little bit more support and science. I mean, I think, go back, I believe we've already going to get into the next tier of funding. Yeah, so we should already, already go up to the next funding, I believe. So, I think the chimpanzee one looks pretty good to keep ourselves quite lucrative with money. And we have, we have the research for that rocket so we'll plan this mission payload I'll probably stick with my standard one because it does seem pretty pretty reasonable I say two yeah two constant free data that's nothing major so yep stick with standard and 230,000 we will get that ordered for two months time and then we'll keep the act so active missions yeah we've got one mission sort of available but I'm hoping the research should be completed for the Mercury payload so we can start looking at human in space straight away. So we'll go to the next month. Geophysical data required. Organizers of the International Geophysical Year are ecstatic at the data gathered by a recently launched satellite and expect it will continue to generate new scientific insights for years to come. So again, 750,000 and another additional 200 support. So that's pretty good. And again, yeah, like I say, Mercury is now finished. So if we go to research, we've now completed the payload going to look at the astronaut training uh, yes yeah, so it's research lab expansion and the backup power that one I think will be good to go for eventually but I do think we need to start looking at getting the astronaut training because I do think the um, getting the human to space we're going to have to get astronauts and I don't think we can unlock astronauts just yet without that one because it's astronauts must study countless uh, disciplines to meet the demands of space travel from uh, spacecraft and vehicle systems to orbital mechanics and space science. Yeah, so that un allows hiring of astronauts and unlocks tier one astronaut talents. But we need a thousand, so we should be able to get that done next month as well, and then we should have plenty of money to get that built. Um, so I believe we should be ready to start looking at planning the human in, in space. We've got, I believe we've got the Atlas and the Delta should be adequate for this mission. So we'll plan the mission and get a payload ready to go. Check, we need to get uh, so four comms and I think it's nav uh, six navigation. Yeah, orbit navigation and comms and crew. So yeah, so we need crew for this one. So if we go less info, I think we'll stick with the standard one. We could go for the more power to make sure we get the missions done, but I think we'll be fine with just a standard standard module uh, payload so let's get that one built and three months to go go back there I believe it did say yeah you must build a national training facility to crew this mission okay so we'll go to the next mission so yep train facility is now ready to go and the orbital chimpanzee payload is complete all right so key forms improvements were made during payload assembly Yet engineers predict reduced comp uh, compatibility with launch vehicles. So we've got an extra 10% payload reliability, but launch will go down. But quite happy with the payload, so we'll go for vehicle design. So if we go back a second, we've got 
yeah, human in space has still got to build the payload, so let's get the rocket done for this one. So reusing the design, the Otto Sakaar should be able to achieve it. And it has got the but then again the Jupiter can do it as well. But the reliability is a bit low, but we can boost that back up again with um training. And I think with the price difference of 212 to 580, I think we'll stick with the Jupiter. So we're happy that everything is okay there. So we'll confirm that build and that'll be built in six months time. Okay, so now we can go to the base and start looking at building the astronaut training facility. Okay, so we'll get this built. So where can we put this one? If we put this one here, we get an additional 1% launch reliability and minus 2% payload cost. So that's just the 2% payload cost. That gives us minus 2% 2, 2 vehicle build cost and 2% payload cost. Yeah, I think we'll go for that one because the reduced uh, payload build cost and vehicle cost, I think we'll pay for the difference over time. Right, okay, so let's go to the crew. Okay, so training facility required. In order to hire astronauts, first you need, you'll need you need to build an astronaut training facility. Once constructed, a pool of training astronauts will, be, will appear here, from which you can choose your agency's first very first astronauts. Note that astronauts will be required for crewed missions. So the human and space one will require an astronaut. Okay, so we'll have to wait for the, the facility to be uh, built and then we can start looking at that option. Now we've got the astronaut done. I'm tempted to go back up here and look at the lunar because I think we've, we've already got the vehicles we need to to do this. So let's get the lunar one researched and we should be able to get that done next month. So, we'll continue to the next month. Okay, so budget review. Gone up an extra uh, extra tier, so we're getting more fund, 153k. So we'll accept that, and the lunar orbit research is uh, complete. So, achieving lunar orbit is a, is a challenging endeavour for any space agency, requiring a payload capable of not only reaching the moon, but also careful course corrections to maintain orbit around it. Okay. So, we can now look at the payload of Hitton, a small robotic lunar probe of uh, cylindrical design equipped with basic navigational and scientific equipment. We should again be able to get that done in a month because we've got some good research coming in at the minute. Um, so, if we go to the moon, we we'll get that research, then we can start looking at planning that mission. Um, we've got a joint mission here, by the looks of it, it's a joint mission. Joint missions. Joint missions are special types of request missions that involve your agencies, your agency partnering with another space agency to conduct the, the mission. Okay, so continue. The other agency will provide a portion of the mission's cost and the awards will be split between both agencies. You'll also gain reputation with the other agencies as long as the mission... Uh, yeah, so as long as we successfully complete the mission, we'll get additional reputation with other agencies. Okay, so solar ob uh, observatory. A research group is looking to set up an, ob an orbital solar observatory, launching a satellite into Earth orbit to take part in the project. Okay, so yeah, diplomatic mission, lucrative. We've got one month, and it's only one phase. Nice funding, and get yeah, more increased research. We have everything ready to go for that one, which because it's a quest mission, we should have. So that'd be very it'd be good to look into that one as soon as we have another available slot. Um. Believe that should be everything done now. So yeah, active missions. We're just waiting for that. Waiting for the good launch date for that one, and another month, and then that payload is ready to go. So let's progress. Yep. So we've now researched the payload for the lunar orbit. Space systems expertise research complete. Our agency, incre our agency's increasing expertise in the development of complex space instrumentation will lead to more dependable payloads going forward. So we've got additional payload reliability. Which is going to be helpful going forward. All right, so we've now got a payload ready for the human in space milestone. Okay, so necessary modifications to the payload's main bus have resulted in a performance reduction. Yet the launch vehicle de uh, development should be simplified as a result. Okay, so that's not good that we've got a payload reliability reduction of 10%, but we'll save a bit of money on the vehicle cost. Yep, so that's the we'll select the vehicle for the human in space. We should be able to reuse 
the Otisakar. We've got the right amount of um, got the upper stage capacity is fine, slow worth orbit, we've got the right mass and the, the medium launch pad. It's got good reliability, price is okay. But if we go for a new design, what can we actually do? Yeah, I think we're gonna be using the Delta and the Atlas, so there's no real difference there, so yeah, we'll load that design with the Delta and the Atlas anyway, so we'll confirm that design and we'll get that built for seven months time. Brilliant, so we're now let's look at the research again. Okay, so we can start looking at so got Venus Impact Impactor, Mars flyby, and multiple crew orbit. Wonder what the other so the other agencies are working towards so they're getting an Atlas, a lunar orbit, medium launch pad, and the long march. Wonder what that is then. Okay, but I think we'll hold fire for anything in here too, just for the minute until we actually catch back up with the buildings and the vehicles. It is tempting to get a different, um, maybe another boost or, not, or get the upper stage sorted out. But I think as we've got the research available, I'm going to go for the backup power generator. So a backup generator prevents power loss to vert vital uh, facilities in the case of an outage of, or power surge. So we'll get that research just to ensure we get uh, what we need. And we'll go next month. Okay, so that's now completed and we can build that at base. So the backup generator and we also get additional payload reduction cost there. Okay, so down here, again that will increase it to another minus 3% on the payload. Payload. We've got up here. Vehicle build cost. Vehicle build cost and vehicle build time. Build time and nothing. Oh, we've got a plus science ward from this side. We'll go for the science. It's always good to push away through the science research. Okay, so now we've got that, we can then look at the expanding the research labs to give ourselves additional research. Um. So this one's going to give us science reward. Despite being our closest planetary neighbour, Venus dense clouds have kept its features a mystery. Developing a probe able to withstand its formidable atmosphere would be a technical feat and grant humanity a first glimpse in glimpse of the elusive surface. But I bet that's going to be yeah, that's going to be era two. So multi crew hospital. Oh no, maybe not. I think it's just going to give us science by the looks of it. Or it'll probably unlock a mission, but... Um, just don't want to waste any time if we don't need to, so... Let's get the research, let's expand the research lab. Um, expand your AC's existing research facilities means faster development of new technologies. Okay, we'll go to the next one for them. So research lab has been completed and advanced demolition research complete. As our base expands, the agency's engineers are devising new and more cost-effective methods of clearing the surrounding land, so we get an additional 50% uh, reduction in obstruction removal cost. Okay, so we've got some more request missions, but we're not going to do that for the minute. Uh, and the research has been completed. And that's it, we're just waiting for the rockets to be ready to launch. Okay can't do much more for that we can get our new research lab up and running okay so we get additional uh, reduction in payload bill cost and payload additional yes yeah, so two an extra five percent deduction in payload bill cost that looks pretty good actually so we've got an additional three percent reduction in payload bill cost and plus four percent reward for science in the mission Um, both of them look pretty good to be fair what we've got over here all negatives ok yep I think this one's going to be the best one put it down there uh, yeah I need to start being careful what spending so we don't run out of money too early on ok so we'll hold fire for the minute down here because I don't believe we're going to need any of this just yet um, let's get the scout just in just to do Earth orbit, just to be a bit cheaper. If we do need to do Earth orbits while we wait, just to get additional funding. 
Yeah, we've got some more quest missions. Oh. And the moon hasn't got anything new. But we can start, yeah, we can start planning the lunar orbit as soon as we get a, um, a free mission slot. Okay, we've now, now unlocked the training facility and the scout research is completed. Okay, so astronauts available. Now that you've constructed an astronaut training facility, you can hire astronauts for your space program. Brilliant. Um, so crew. Astronaut pool. You received your first influx of astronauts hopefuls. Here you'll find a pool of training astronauts eager to be hired to your space program. So each potential astronaut has a higher cost and a monthly salary, as well as a special talent. Talents can be powerful mission effects. Keep an eye out for the for, for the most are useful. So new trainees, more trainees will be periodically added to the pool. So remember to check back here often. Constructing more advanced astronaut training facilities will result in new trainees having higher level talents. Okay, assigning astronauts. Once an astronaut is hired, you'll be able to assign them to a crewed mission during the final stage of the planning mission. Okay, pretty straightforward. Okay, so this one is an ath athlete, so you get minus 50% recovery time after missions. You've got a test pilot, so you've got uh, plus 5% launch reliability and celebrity, 10% reward upon successful mission. So your salary is 11k and you've got a high cost of 110,000. You're 9k and 90k, 60k and 6k. Not really fussed about this the celebrity. The test part seems interesting to give us more launch reliability. And you've got a longer retire you are you are retired to you're 53. You're gonna retire in 10 years time, so this one does seem better more likely of astronauts to be the best one for us. Um, but I'll wait until we actually need to hire him until we actually get there. Okay, so now that we've yeah we've completed the first area, so we can get on the second area down here. But we'll hold fire on that one and the, that one, and let's look at the vehicles. So we need to complete another two to unlock the contractors. Let's go for the Delta, and then so that's sixty percent liability, fifty-five. You've got four, and you've got two percent. Your build cost is a lot cheaper than the Star 37. But you can, you've got more mass. But I think the Mu 3 may be better on this side. You've already got 180, but then it's got the 2000 capacity. So I might get the Star 37 just to give us that extra capacity when we need it. Um, yeah, this has got capacity 580. So these ones have always got the higher ones. But yeah, get them too. Then we can look at getting maybe the contractors. Okay, so next month. Okay, so we've got the power backup power generators completed and the delta research complete. And the orbital chimpanzees is ready to go. Just need to select. Oh god, we've got again 50-50 in launch liability is not very good. But we get additional reliability on the payload. So, training mission. The payload's already at 95%, so it's actually really good. But we need to get the launch liability a lot higher. Okay, so if we go to August, we're going to have 60% chance. I think that's going to be good. Wait until December, I think it's a long wait. So we'll select August and see how we go on with that. Okay, so China has launched human space in eight months and NASA's completed it. Okay, so we're not looking at milestones. So human in space, yeah, we're going to have to try and beat China to that post because we've got another three months before we're ready to actually launch that. All right, research. Let's get the Star 37, I believe, to give us that extra weight if we need it, because both of these have both got 1,800 kilograms each. It's two months though, so it's got a bit of an advantage over the Delta, because it's only built in two months' time. But the launch liability is not as good. Okay, moving on. So we've now got additional research or science because of the research lab expansion and the Star 37 is completed. Uh, so we can now look at the contractors, which are f is part of the era two. Okay, so we've now got the boost here. So we've, oh, that's where we got the uh, demolitions for the obstruction removal cost. And to so we can get it launch reliability by researching the last two 
Okay, we'll do that just to get this extra bonus of 5% launch reliability. We'll just get the Muir, both the Muir freeze. Okay. Um, the Earth just got some more request missions. And I believe... I think we're ready to go. So let's go back to the next month and get the... Yeah, so Muir freeze research and we can now do the launch of the chimpanzee. Ninety-five and fifty-nine percent. Looks like it's raining though, which is not good. Launch day Jupiter of August nineteen sixty-one. Okay, so that's knocked it down a bit more. Yeah, it's 50-50. Let's just launch it and see what happens. Looking good. Depends if it's got any damage done to it. Nope. Good launch. Okay, let's continue. And we've increased levels for the Jupiter upper and booster. Okay, so let's continue. Yep, so we could see at two comms and free data to complete the mission or three and five to get the bonus. And the mission done. So again, that's given us a load more money for the bonus. We've got 1.6k there. So that'll do us. Some, that'll get our money back up quite well. And then we need to look at the science. We'll get the last um, U3 per stage booster to get the launch systems expertise to get more launch reliability. Okay, and how are we? Yeah, they've got five months. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do this, but let's push on and see if we can do it. Just depends on when the window is going to be available for launching the rocket. Okay, so we've got additional launch reliability. Okay, so launch preparations. Right, assigning crew. This is a crewed mission, so you'll need to assign the appropriate number of astronauts. Select the crew and get started. Okay, so let's get the test part just to make sure we can get it up. So let's hire you and we'll assign the astronaut. Confirm. So that should have hopefully helped. So the payload's at 60%, but the reliability is pretty good. We'll focus then on the payload reliability because we've got 8% launch reliability and only 60% of the payload. So let's continue. And we'll select a launch date. Well, this is the first day, and then we're just ahead of Russia. Uh, that was should it be China? So let's select that date and confirm for two, three months' time. Okay, so that would mean now that active mission-wise we have a spare slot. So I think we should start looking. At, we're not going to be able to achieve the lunar one here because both, unless Russia and China both fail their missions, which probably isn't likely. But we will start planning anyway and getting this one up and done. So we can get a standard observation, comms and prototype we've seen pretty standard. But, um, okay, so we've got this two part by looks, so we've got to perform. You need to get two comms, two nav uh, three navigation, three comms and four data. So we'll stick with a, stick with the standard variation just to payload pretty good reliability compared to the other. So we'll get that one built which will take us two months and we shall progress the next month. Okay so we've now finished the Mu3 upper stage and we gained the launch system the launch systems expertise. Okay so now I need to look at what to do next. The contracts do look pretty interesting. So private contracts are a valuable resource for any agency when constructing a vehicle contractors can bestow unique effects such as lowering build time or increasing launch reliability so we'll get that 
it's 1500 so it'll take a while to get that research because we've only got 156 and we only get 170 per month. Uh, so we've got mission control so we can get additional mission slot which would be quite useful. PR office, vehicle assembly building and additional research lab. Or we can start looking at getting the Venus impact, Mars flyby or the multi-crew orbit. So if we look at the next milestone yeah, we're looking at the multi crew orbit or the orbital EVA and the commercial satellites. Okay, so where's the comms? So that's okay, that's quite quite far down there. And then EV, yeah, so we probably may want to go for the orbital crew, but it might be worth seeing what the contractors can actually do for us if they can reduce build time or build cost. So we'll see what happens on that front. Let's go to the next next month. Right, so lunar orbit's payload is complete. Okay, so we've got additional vehicle build cost, but we've got some more uh, plus 25% support reward. Okay, let's get a... Try and reuse the rocket. So the Jupiter seems pretty reasonable. So we can load that design. Well, actually, if we clear the design, because we've now got a few of the rockets, so we can look at the Jupiter or the Able. I'm researching the Able, but... Either way, no, the, the reliability is too low, so I think we should stick with using the Jupiter because that's been quite reliable so far. And let's confirm and build. Get that ready in six months' time. Okay, then, so yeah, we're ready to go next month. So let's, um, how's the research getting on? Yeah, so it's going to be, it'll take us a bit of time to get there. So Let's move on to getting the human into space. Okay, so we've got 69% now and 93% launch reliability. Let's go for the launch mission. Looks like a nice day. Launch day for the Otter Sakaar, December 1961. Okay, so we've got adequate conditions, so that's minus 2%. Okay, fair enough. So we've only got 2% at critical, 8% of negative, 65% for normal launch or positive event, which is 23%. I think that's good odds, so let's continue. Well, it didn't explode, which is good news. Okay, 42%. I'm oh, happy with that one. But we didn't kill the astronaut, so that's a bonus. Okay, some level ups and some more reliability. Right, so we need to get four comms and six navigation to complete the mission or 8 comms and 12 for the bonus. Right, so this is a crewed mission which means the crew resources available. Okay, so crew commands. Crew can be used on commands that typically generate more resources than usual. You'll only have a limited number of crew per turn, but they will replenish at the start of the next turn. Okay then, so... Looking good though. So yeah, we've got one crew person on board, four energy, so let's see what we can do with that. I think we need to start maybe looking at trying to aim for the 12 if we go for the bonus one. So let's use the mission report. Let's give us two and two. And then we could turn that two into additional comms and navigation. But it's still got a spare slot. So with that in mind, let's turn another power into two car into two comms. Yeah, got quite a low there and we haven't got very good reliability on this it's a new failure so incorrect calculations crew member made a minor trajectory miscalculation causing a position error this command output will be reduced by one navigation unless we okay so let's reset it by spending the energy 
Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, that's a good one. Alright, so we've still got two or one power, which we don't need to use because we've got it done. Okay, fantastic. So we've achieved the comms, so we just need to get at least two to complete the mission for the navigation. Right, well, we need to get some more power because we've only got, only got one power left over. Okay, so we need to start looking at maybe... Yep, we'll get an additional four for one, we're getting rid of one of the comms. And... Right, where are we going to go with this then? Just concerned that we're going to may run out of power if we don't. We're not careful. Right, let's recharge the battery one more time just to be on the safe side. Because the crew didn't seem to be very good last time, but this time he seems to be doing a good job. Okay, that's good. That's taken us up to eight and three. Okay, so we could do another four, which will get us to the point we need for that. And we now need to start looking at getting up power. So we could do that again. Maybe one more time, but it only leaves us one power if we've got any problems. So let's risk it and go. Yep, that was a good one. No. Okay, on to the next. Mission, next command. Yep, happy with that one. Okay. Yeah, that one's just in, so that's good. Okay. So that should just leave us two more comms to get. So let's recharge the power and do one more comms. So one power to one to two comms. Let's confirm that. Yep, so that wanted a uh, failure. Okay, but if we uh, can resist it for one power. And that's mission complete. safe landing. Another milestone completed. And we completed additional three milestones. So that's the challenge completed as well. Cool. So more support, more science, just what we need. Right, so you've got six months of recuperation before we can use that astronaut again. It's no problem. Okay, so looking at uh, milestones, we've now completed all the milestones in era one and we were first at every single one of them. That one was very close, so we did almost lose that to uh, China. It was a shame that we didn't complete the lunar orbit, but can't win them all. It looks like China did complete that one second and Russia is very close behind them. So we may not actually get into this one, but it's not the end of the world. We can keep post that we've got all number ones at this point here. Right, as I say, trying to keep these videos and, and let's plays to milestones. So with the human in space, that's completely the next milestone. Um, so again, thank you very much for watching episode four of my Japan's Let's Play. Again, there'll be plenty more episodes to come as the game is very, very in-depth. Um, so if you like the video please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next episode of Mars Horizon.